Oh my gosh, they say, hi, hi, it's Facebook Live time. And I'm just having a trouble with my earbuds staying in my ear. So we'll see, you probably hear me playing with it along the way. All right, so hi, it's Courtney, it's Hooray, it's Thursday, and we've got Facebook Live, and I'm gonna make a Christmas card. I'm Courtney, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Australia. Thanks heaps for joining me. Let's turn this baby over and get on with the show, as they say. <laughs> All right. And over we go. Hoping that you can all hear me. Pop my phone in here. Do have my, was going to watch it on my thing so that I could actually see what was going on. But, okay. So I'll ditch the earbud container. I'm hoping that you can hear me properly and not all the rest of the noise that's going on. Didn't bring a chair, so we'll grab a chair. But that looks pretty good. These are the two stamp sets that we're playing with today. We've got Peaceful Deer and we've got Perfectly Plaid. Um, Perfectly Plaid's in the annual catalogue. Comes with a beautiful punch of a Christmas tree, which I've shown you last, what was it last week? week before and guess what so does our peaceful deer we're not you we're just using out of perfectly plaid i love this merry christmas if there's anyone else that loves it just as much as me raise your hand <laughs> All right. um but i do love that merry christmas so i'm going to use it i had a a stamper stack here last weekend and i haven't done one for ages and I thought oh okay so it was just a matter of pulling quite a few things together and then I thought I know what I'm going to do I'm going to show you some of the cards that we made hi Sharon how you going this is one of the cards that we made at the stamp stack I, I pulled out some retired stuff I pulled out some retired all the trimmings embellishments because those little stars are so cute on that um, so hence some little stars but we've got some little gold dots this is not the card we're making today though all right but Perfectly plaid, easy peasy Christmas card, and hi Nadia, and it looks great. And I don't know if anyone's been in an online store lately, but our basic white is basic disappeared because it's so popular. So I had to use some vanilla, and they, I thought these made vanilla look great. So I've got with me. I've got some samples. Ah, oh, don't tell me I didn't. Oh, did I bring an envelope? I didn't grab an envelope. So here, just look at some of these while I. The Merry Christmas Deer is the one that we're going to do today, but I'm actually going to use some current paper because that one there is made without current paper in it. I'm just ratting through the cupboard on the other side of the room. I do love these earbuds. Ratting through the cupboard on the other side of the room. And I'm back with a couple of packets of envelopes. I only need one. Has everybody else finished their Christmas cards? I can tell you now I haven't. Okay, so I'll pop that one aside. Don't need that one. But basically we're going to work with this one because one of the girls on the weekend said, oh, wow, you make that look so easy. To me, this is a very easy Christmas card. There's lots of stamping and a bit of sticking. Oh, and a punch. So let's play with this okay so we've got our punch we've got our coordinating stamp set that's got something stuck all over it and we've got some color inks an envelope here's one I prepared earlier in vanilla so okay very vanilla it's such a nice color and I think because I love basic white so much I have been ignoring it and I think I need to go back to loving it I've got my Merry Christmas stamp couple of trees, squidgy trees, big trees, some stars and some snowflakes. I do love these. <laughs> oh, I wonder which blog post that is, Miss Sharon, that you're trying to finish. Probably the one that I did, made the executive decision not to do this week, but that's okay. Wink, wink, nod, rod, right? And there's our deer. Okay. So... I've got Evening Evergreen as my base, our base, because it actually goes really nice with the vanilla. 
that's for punching my deer out in case anyone was, one, was wondering. Now I did do, ah, I was thinking, oh no, what have I done with those? Uh, sweet stockings paper. Cute little stockings on the back, but they really don't match our deers. But even still, popping a Merry Christmas on those on the front, bit of ribbon, and we could say Bob's your uncle, but um, yeah, we won't. <laughs> That's still a nice card. <laughs> For those that are watching later, Sharon's just commented, yes, that blog post. Check out my other. Um, Check out my other videos, especially my scrapbook pages. Sharon and I belong to the Scrapbooking Global Group and it was her turn, I think it was her turn to pick um, the theme. And I've been, I had good intentions. I had really, really good intentions. But, um, yeah, it's the, it's the week before Christmas and I'm not ready. My trees are up. <laughs> so I've just folded my this is evening evergreen we've got quite a lot of designer series paper that it goes with it goes quite nicely with my my stars this is from sweet stockings man I've cut that close oh, I think I'll get my trimmer oh that's thought I'm just leaning over the table here on the other, <laughs> on the other side of the room uh, I like to have a little bit of room around the outside of my car, but yeah, that's just a bit, a bit too close. So I'll just trim off. I think I need new blades. They've been a bit um, popular in the online store as well, so we've uh, they're a matter of grabbing when you see them too. Everything we used to make jokes about slow boats from China, but at the moment that's just what they are. So yes, anyway, back to that. Sharon and I do a blog, a blog hop together. I've piped out this month. Oh, I can even take a little bit more um, because I've just run out of time. And one of the be beautiful things about doing blog hops is it makes me craft every month without fail. And in that case, do a scrapbook page. But, yeah, not this month. I might have to make up for lost time. I can tell you now I'll never do a Facebook Live for a scrapbook page. And the reason being that I take forever. So I'm just going to pop any adhesive that you like, whatever your favourite is. Use these at class the other day so they're all not set right. Oh, are you running out? No, why are we so far in? Gosh. Okay. Don't play nice. Go play nice. Glue bits all over me. So, when you first start with the seal, Often the adhesive's down a little bit. You just need to roll it up so that it's in the right spot because it's easier. It needs to be here, which is where it ends up tearing off. But if you start on a piece that you've already put adhesive on, now that we've just finished just yakking, um, you'll find that it goes really well for you and runs along nicely. So, so I'm not finished for my Christmas shopping. I've got a couple more things to purchase for some family members. I'm wearing my Christmas present, as you all know from a week or so ago. It will ping and go on, but I, I still I haven't had a chance to even learn what to do with it. Oopsie. Hold my tongue right. I need this straight. Yep. Sometimes you just can't talk while you're doing things. Okay, essentially that's the basis for my card. This is a photopolymer stamp set, so we do need a squishy mat. And I'm going to stick it underneath my piece of paper. Look, does anyone else work in a cramped desk? I seem to attract stuff. So, 
our punches this is one of our bigger punches they're nice and heavy to unlock them we unlock them like so and again to close them I do store all mine like that in my drawer um, they all live in a drawer they're actually in a container in a drawer so that I can see what my punch where my punch is and which one it is okay so and because of the way that the paper goes in I will end up with my antlers and my nose as well some of the girls stuck red noses on them the other day this is a soft suede that I'm using to make my deer and it's funny because I went oh isn't he cute he says oh what fun and everyone oh my gosh I just thought that was a pretty pattern on him that one's a little bit blotchy I'm not overly excited about it two sides to every piece of paper oh this one will be better no, it's blotching up fast. Bring it in closer. That's better. Can you see the difference? The ink pad just needed some, uh, what's the right word for it? Um, conditioning on my stamp set. But yeah, can you see? Oh, what fun. Which is actually quite a fun sentiment. And I think I've got, oh, it's, I thought there was something on my oh what fun on the end but it um, wiped off so if you're not used to using our, our punches a lot of punches we used to go in and we used to just do that with them I need to be able to see where my my reindeer is lining up and it depends on if you're right or left-handed which way you're going to do this I'm right-handed so I've got him I'm lining him up I'm squeezing a little bit and I've noticed that that foot's out of whack. So I undo a little bit. Now he's not gonna fall out cause I've got it so that the, the punch is holding the paper so I can bring this hand around. Careful of all these little bits here of skin cause you don't want to jam them. But you, I don't know about you guys, I need two hands to be able to pop the punches. Some people put them on the bench and push them down, whatever works for you. They're, they're quite, quite weighty. So there's a little tiny nose. There's some antlers. We're not using those, but that's okay. Um, but they're there. So we could if we wanted to. All right. So there's my little deer. So he can sit up there. Now, on, I can tell you now, this is a little bit different in size. This one here is three by three when it comes in three by three inches. All right, this one, I'll measure it in centimeters for you. Gotta love a bit of grid paper. Eight and a half centimeters oh, by 7.7 .7 centimeters. And then this one is, this will be 8.9, oh, nine, 8.9. So I've added 0.4 on both sides. So that I then have a nice little bit all the way around. So I'll just pop that one aside. Okay, and I want my trees. I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas first. On this one, I actually used um, Garden Green, but I'm thinking that because of the colour of those stars, I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen with this one. Okay. And they're all different colours. And I think that was part of what the girls were saying. Oh, well, you made that look so easy. And I think that's part of what they were talking about is that I just went, okay, so ink up your stamp and stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, stamp it. Maybe some a bit higher because we needed some depth. And they go, huh? Right, easy, just do stamp it. Now, what you can't do is if you stamp on here and then off again, you'll notice if you do that, see how you get two tone lines? So it's a little bit darker. I'll do it again. See how it's two toned? You want to make sure if you're doing this action that you always keep coming down. You don't want to keep going higher. If you want some lighter trees in the background, stamp off down here first, 
so that you can then make it look like you've got more distance between you and the trees because I don't know when you aesthetically when you look out you're looking out towards your trees I don't want this little bit of white that's over here and I want some more down here but I need some more off in the distance I've got a bit of a mess on there and now because that looks to me looks okay I'm just going to give this a bit of a clean because I got a bit carried away with pushing my stamping I don't want the that top edge but I do want a little bit more down here okay so I think that looks pretty cool pretty sweet I haven't even used this ink pad and it's got ink on it I don't know how I did that but it won't be the first time and I'm sure it won't be the last okay just clean that off now I could I could do a different color I could put actually I think I will I might use the soft suede uh, yeah soft suede for my Merry Christmas it's nice and squishy for that nice okay I have to stand up for this use the lines on my grid paper hold my tongue correctly push it down with confidence as they say and look to me that looks straight okay what do you reckon straight yeah okay now I got the girls to it's really hard to see on this paper there's all sparkly bits I got the girls to do it and I don't think this needs it if I wanted to you, there's nothing stopping you from going like so over some of your stars just to give give myself a tattoo of Merry Christmas on the side there hey Cheryl how you going so it depending on your patience level if you wanted to put a bit of glitter on your stars you could and now that I've started I'll do a few of them because you know Winter Stella is actually really pretty but I use that stuff on Saturday that's all right I just move everything out of the way because I'm going to make some mess now Cheryl comes to my classes they're lots of fun aren't they if nothing else we laugh a lot so I've just given a bit of a squeeze because I want it to somewhere in here this oh, I was gonna say my bone fibers out that this is now wet and it is a very very noisy but fine sprinkle well some bits are a bit more blobby very fine sprinkle of sparkle oh and it gives me steps on my watch how cool is that <laughs> that's cheating isn't it and it just means you've got to let it let it dry so uh, I don't know how easy that is to see but it just makes it a little bit sparkly so there's quite a big few big drops there but they'll dry Ah, so we might just put that bit aside and do our inside and our envelope got the fold on here oh here comes a kid there's no show without punch in this house of course <laughs> okay so an envelope we need more trees now I do have bigger trees and little trees may have wanted to watch she could just actually go and turn on her Facebook and watch but no, nah, she's here. Are you watching that on the like a beneficial thing? Um, Maeve's asking questions. I've got the um, iPad up in front of me, and she wants to know why. Essentially, yes, I am. I am watching it so that I can see the comments on Facebook when they come through, in case anybody wants to talk to me. You know, okay. I so I can reply. 
to them. So, so Maeve's about to go away. I know. Uh, Maeve's pointing out weird and wonderful stuff. Oh, no one else is here. <laughs> she doesn't realise that I upload this to YouTube later. So she needs to go away. She's asking me about my Christmas. What? Oh, she's distracting me. <gasps> Maeve, disappear. Over there. So, um, oh, here she comes. Envelope. I, I look, I put the, I put my stamp pad away. And here's my envelope. And right, I won't make the front all funny. And we have some snowflakes because in winter in Australia it snows, no, Christmas in Australia it snows, no, but that's okay. We all still love a bit of snow. So, and we'll have some snowflakes in here. The more room you decorate, the less room you have to write. That's the only bummer about that. Right. Hopefully, my wink is still as almost dry as it on that little piece over there. So I'll just glue this in. I can almost hear my friend Cheryl say, this is best caught. And pop this one in here. Okay, so we've got envelope inside and now we need to make the rest of our card. What I'm going to do, just in case it's not dry yet, because I'm going to stick my hand over it and I don't want to rub on it. All I'm doing, <laughs> thought I might have, all I'm doing is um, turning it over and I'm putting, pushing it onto this paper so I don't know if you can see some of that's there because I'm about to rub on it. And it's going to pop this piece onto here. Always pop your glue onto your smallest piece or your whatever adhesive you use. If you pop it onto your smallest piece, you don't end up with glue on the sides. This stuff's wet, so it squishes out. Um, it's also doesn't dry. It dries tacky if it's left on the top layer. We don't want it to stick to our card. Then just turn you over to push you down. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my deer, my little guy, up on. I actually quite like this. I'm gonna pop him up on my dimensional, so I'll pop some glue on the back of here. If you if you like multi-layered cards, you can put dimensionals under this one as well, but you don't have to. And I didn't put it, I don't think it needs, it needs to go up the top a little bit, I think. Yep. Alrighty, okay. and then we'll put some dimensionals under this guy. So I won't need any more of that. Now there is two different sorts of dimensionals. There's big dimensionals and there's little dimensionals or minis. Oh, see how I stamp them, stamp on the other side first for the late comments. So he can have a big dimensional under his butt and his torso. But I will tell you now, the big, the little, the big one doesn't fit under his head. So I'll pop a little one under there, onto there. If you want to, you can cut cut the little ones in half and stick them in his feet. But I don't think I think that might be a bit overkill. Okay, and take off the tops and just throw them wherever. And then it's a matter of working out where you'd like your cute little deer to sit. And voila.
we have one Christmas card. Not too bad if I do say so myself. So there's today's one. Let me take this out so that you can see. There's today's one. And I'll just pop this under there. There's the one from the other day. Same, same, but different. So, yeah, all looks good. So we've used, and you can get all these in the online store. We've used Peaceful Deer, which is a bundle at the moment of our Deer Punch and our photopolymer stamp set. I've used the Merry Christmas from Perfectly Plaid. The, the sentiments in here would work as well, but they're small and I liked the big sentiment because there's something nice about big sentiments. So I've used those two stamp sets, numerous blocks and two ink pads and some designer series paper. So, and I can make lots and lots of cards. Out of one sheet of designer series paper, which they're 12 by 12, which is about 30.5 centimetres, I can get three, six cards. So six card front. So you can actually make quite a lot of cards quite quickly um, and you can change them up because here's another one for the people that the late comers using the same two stamp sets and a cup well let's stick that one under there and a couple of retired embellishments that one I could put some of these gold dots these little pearly ones in there but I think that might be a bit too much so these come in silver as well as gold. And there's one, not this pink one. All the red ones have gone. They cut, You can colour them with your stamp and blends. So, um, which I do quite frequently so that I can make them any colour I like, essentially. Well, like I say, thanks for joining me. Um, hope to see you next week, the week before Christmas. Uh, I think I'll make one more Christmas card next week or I'll decide on the day or we'll move on to birthdays, one or the other. Um, feel free to vote below in the comments if you want anything particular. And, you know, you could do that. If there's a stamp set that you like in the online store and you want to see, you want to know if I've got it, message me. If you want to see me use it, message me. Or some particular design series paper if you want to see it. Everything looks different in the real. And even Cheryl will say that, you know. Oh, I saw that card. It looks so much better in, in real life than it does on a photo. So, you know, it's just one of those things. But, yeah, flick me a message. Shop online, whichever you like. Um, it's all good. We are coming to the point where we need to, sh if we want stuff before Christmas, we need to get our orders in. All right. A fold Cheryl wants a folding card with a dragonfly. Oh, nothing like a challenge. <laughs> but we'll see what we can manage. I'll keep that. I'll store that one for you, Cheryl, I think. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, well, once again, I'm going to flip this camera around. I'll just... Flip this camera around. Thanks for joining me. It's, it's good to see everyone, I guess, um, is a nice way to put it. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas if you don't touch base with me next Thursday. Uh, and yeah, all good. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye.